Hey guys, today we're going to continue learning some subtraction strategies. So as a refresher, a subtraction problem is one where we are taking away. It has a minus inside of the equation. So this problem would be 3 minus 1 equals 3 take away 1. Yesterday we learned that we can use objects around our house or we can use fingers to show these problems. Today, we're going to be using a number line. I know that a lot of you guys don't have number lines at home, so if you have one at home, you can definitely use it. If you don't have one at home, we're gonna draw one. So remember, a number line is a straight line. We can start at zero, and then keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and we will stop at 10. So there is my number line from zero to 10. Number lines can go on even bigger than that. You can have huge number lines, but for today, all we need is a short number line that goes from zero to 10. So here's my number line and I'm gonna show you how to solve a subtraction problem using this. So when we're doing addition problems, we go in the reading direction. We want our numbers to be getting bigger. But when we're doing subtraction problems, we're taking away, so our numbers have to get smaller. And that means that we're going to go in the opposite direction. We're gonna go backwards on the number line, not in the reading direction, okay? So, here's my first number, three. That is our starting point on the number line. I have three. So let me put a little dot at three so that I know where I'm starting. That dot kind of looks like a heart. So three, take away one. I have three, and I'm going to jump on the number line one time. When we were doing addition, we were jumping on the number line in the reading direction. But since we're doing subtraction, we're jumping on the number line backwards. So I have three, and I'm going to do one jump backwards on the number line. So there's my one jump. What number did I land on? Two. So my answer would be two. And I can check my work by using the other strategies that I've learned. I can use the crossing out strategy. Three circles, take away one. How many are left? Two. Or I could use my fingers. Three, take away one equals two. Awesome job. Let's do another example. Here's my problem. Can you read it to me? Four minus two equals. So we're going to use our number line to solve this. So think about where are we going to start on the number line? We'll start at four. So I'm putting a dot at four to show me where I've started. And then the problem tells us that we're gonna take away two. Four minus two means that we have four and we take away two. So I'm going to jump on the number line two times. But am I going to go in the reading direction? No, I have to go backwards because it is subtraction. I'm going less. So let me jump two times. Here's one. Two, what number did I land on? I landed on two. So my answer would be two. I know that the number line can get tricky, so it's always good to check your work. Four, take away two, equals two. So I got that answer, perfect. Let's do one more on our number line. Read that equation to me. Five minus four equals. Where am I going to start on the number line? I'm going to start at five. How many am I going to take away? I'm taking away four. One, two, 
three, four. What number did I land on? I landed on one. And let's check our work with our fingers. Everybody, let's do this together. Five minus four, so take away four. One, two, three, four. How many are left? One. And I put one as my answer, so I know that my answer is correct. Five minus four equals one. Great job, guys. Keep practicing using those number lines.